Good morning, everybody. My name is Barry Schwartz, and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, October 25th, actually. I'm recording this on Wednesday, October 23rd, so it's a pre-recorded thing. I'm actually offline Thursday and Friday, so anything you've seen from me on Thursday and Friday was pre-recorded, pre-scheduled, pre-written, and scheduled to be posted today. In any event, lot to discuss the Google search ranking volatility. Again, Google's Sitelink search box is going away. Generative AI in Bing and Google more Google ad news to share, and a lot more. So definitely stay tuned. Of course, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Duda. Duda is the web professional website builder. You can call your own, so check them out at duda.co. Thanks so much for sponsoring, Duda. All right, so over last weekend, again, there may be stuff going on while I'm offline, uh, there was significant Google search ranking volatility again on October 19th and 20th. Um, Glenn Gabe spotted some Significant surges from sites that were hit hard by the previous Google core, uh, August core update, seeing significant surges on the 19th or so of October. A lot of other people in the, are talking about uh, the chatter around that, meaning there's a lot of chatter around um, ranking volatility, ups and downs, which we always see, uh, and there's a significant amount of comments around that discussion. So definitely take a look at that. If you hit over the weekend or you saw improvements over the weekend, you're definitely not alone. Google announced that SiteLink search box, the little sub search box you see in search results snippets where it shows like you do a search for New York Times, it might go ahead and show um, like another search box in this snippet itself. Here's a screenshot of that. Um, that is now going away as of November 21st, 2024. So about a month from now, that is going away. Google said they are trying to declutter the search results a little bit more and also that it didn't get that much use. Um, so keep that in mind, it is going away. If you want to download all your data, go ahead and do so in Google Search Console. There's reports there for it, uh, but it is going away. Google also may have went ahead and slapped, penalized Fortune Recommends, the Fortune, ver like the review section of Fortune magazine. Um, Glenn Gabe also spotted this one, where he noticed a 67% decline as of, of a Wednesday uh, in the Fortune Recommends section from Google Search and visibility. Um, it's unclear what's going on exactly. I did see some Fortune magazine uh, representatives respond saying they are direct employees of Fortune, but they didn't confirm the actual downgrade. So again, it looks like definitely they got hit, but again, we don't know what it was, if it was a matter of action or something else. Uh, Google did not confirm yet that the site reputation abuse policy is uh, algorithmic, so it's probably not uh, an algorithm update. So who knows, but something is going on there. Google is testing generative AI snippets throughout the search results. We've seen this um, by a number of people, including Shash and Patel, who showed this when, when you go to a specific type of um, people, like it's kind of used to call things to know, and you expand those things to know, they're showing generative AI experimental um, examples of cards when you swipe through. Here's a GIF of that in action. Pretty interesting find there. Google's also testing what's called People's Insights. And People's Insights is basically um, discussion and forums, which we saw before. So like Reddit results, Quora results, and so forth, and a discussion and forums conversational interface. Uh, but it's called People's Insights from Online Conversations. And there's this interesting disclaimer that says, this information, this is, inf this is for informational purposes only, medical, for medical advice or diagnosis, consult a professional. So one of the bigger complaints around things that uh, the Google using AI and so forth for, uh, not using AI, but more using discussion forums like Reddit and so forth for these snippets was that people are getting medical advice from people online that aren't medical professionals. So Google kind of solved it a little bit by using this people's insights, meaning it's not medical insights, it's not Google's insights, it's people's insights. I think that's a very good title for that. Also spotted by Session. Um, Bing is enhancing their AI summaries with AI enhanced summaries that include now um, full domain names in the actual citations. And when you mouse over those domain name link cards, you actually get a little card that overlays in there. This is spotted by Sashim and Kushal. Nice find there. Bing Webmaster Tools API and documentation has several bugs. This is spotted by Ryan Siddle, um, who basically said they found five bugs with the Web, Bing Webmaster Tools API and documentation. Fabrice Canel confirmed the team's working on fixing it. And I have four emails from Ryan, responses from Bing Webmaster Tools that they're actually working on these issues. So if you notice any issues, definitely take a look at that. There are some, some issues that Bing is working on. Google Ads has updated performance max to say it won't take priority over shop, uh, standard shopping campaigns if the campaigns are in the same account. This is a big change. Google sent out emails. Mike Ryan posted the, the screenshot of that email um, in the 
uh, on Twitter and so forth. Um, and there's a lot of repercussions around this, so definitely take a look about how this might impact it. I know Greg Finn is testing different variations around this, so definitely take a look at that. And around that news, Google didn't officially announce that news until later on Wednesday, um, where Google announced of things like shareable ad previews, which actually covered back in March, now it's fully rolling out, um, asset ex exper experiments, and also final URL expansions, plus some other things like this, this uh, Pmax with standard shopping campaigns changed. So a lot of things there as well. Also, Google has uh, announced new travel or hotel ad campaigns where they're using travel feeds to update your data in those shopping campaigns and the shopping search ads with more real-time pricing, images, and other rich results. Um, there's also some more experiments also around that where things to do and so forth, like things to do in that area, including uh, a lot of other things around there as well. So definitely take a look at that. There's updates around travel search uh, for Google search ads. Google's testing this weird thing where they actually show a play button and a watch button for video search ads. This is spotted by SADAK. Here's a GIF of that in action. It's super interesting to see that as well. Google said it's going to start pausing election-related campaigns or search ads or campaign ads in across any channel um, starting after the polls close on November 5th. They don't want to go ahead and allow misinformation around who won the election or misinformation around the election results as well. So this is going to start November 15th, at November 5th after the polls close. Google local service ads is added again. They're actually going ahead and testing this feature called request competitive quotes, where after you go to a specific local service listing ad, click on it, request a quote from that person, you're going to get say, oh, you can request a quote from other people, other businesses, by clicking this button. So you're like, Google's like serving up bills and ad, ad bills for advertisers, even though the, ad, the actual searches on one specific business they're interested in, they're going to go ahead and charge other ones. This is spotted by Nick Smith. Nice find there. Google Merchant Center is beta testing what's called Audience Insights. So Merchant Center has their own analytics, but, merch, uh, but Audience Insights in Merchant and in Merchant Insight, in, sorry, Audience Audience Insights in Merchant Center interface has uh, data on regions that they're from, ages or gender, age groups, and so much more. So pretty interesting to see that there as well. This is spotted by Igor. Uh, nice find there. Google Ads. Is, has launched their version 18 of the, ver of the Google Ads API. So version 18 of the API for Google Ads is out. This actually was released last week, but I, by the time I recorded the video, it was literally an hour after that. Um, so version 18 is out. It's a major update, so definitely take a look at that update. Uh, Nick Fox is going to be the new, or is the new head of Google Search. He replaces uh, uh, Prabhakan Rag Raghavan, um, who was the lead of, uh, of Google Search, the head of Google Search since 2000, um, uh, 2020, I'm sorry. So he was the lead for four years, and now Nick Fox is the new lead. Before that was Ben Gomes, who led up uh, Google Search for two years in 2018. Then John, who was the big AI guy, AI guy, took over two years before that in 2016. And then before that, it was Amin Segal, who led up Google Search uh, since 2000. That being said, we're interested to see what happens with Nick Fox. I'm surprised that Google did not replace um, Replace it with Nick Fox sooner, uh, but it is what it is. There's this new fun SEO board game called SEO, uh, SEO the Board Game. It's being released. You can actually Google it and get more information about it. You can actually order it before the holidays, so it's pretty interesting to see that as well. And then finally, uh, just a reminder again, I'm offline for uh, Simchas Torah today. Um, and yesterday, I was off offline for the holiday of Simchas Torah. Everybody is celebrating. Have a nice one. Um, hope you enjoyed. And everyone else, have a great, safe weekend, and I'll see you guys next. Again, thanks to Duda for sponsoring. Deeply appreciate it. Everyone have a great weekend. Bye-bye.